Story number 12. We are always proud of you. Do you think I'm going to win, Daddy? Five and a half year old Haley asked worriedly. Her father, Mr. Edwards, looked seriously at his little daughter and said, We have already had this discussion. This is not about winning. It is about being a part of something, doing what you love and enjoying it. But there is nothing wrong if I win too, is there? Wouldn't you be proud of me if I got the gold medal? Haley asked questioningly. We will be proud of you no matter what. Whether you come first or last, we will be proud of you. Your mother and I love you very much, Haley, and we just want to see you happy, Mr. Edwards explained. Haley didn't answer, but her dad could see that she was not satisfied with the answer. Haley had never been this competitive before, and her mother and father were a little worried with this attitude. Haley was a sweet little girl who had been interested in gymnastics since she was a toddler. She loved to practice all the time jumping and stretching all the time. This was the reason they had allowed her to participate in the town contest. She had been practicing every day and was very excited about the competition. Some of her friends were also part of the competition. That night, Mr. Edwards decided to ask Haley why suddenly she was taking the winning so seriously. As her parents, they had always encouraged her to be part of every activity. But they had never stressed that she had to win. They knew that participation was the most important thing. So, Mr. Edwards went to her room to tuck her in bed. Haley was already in her PJs, and her father pulled the quilt on top of her and said, Princess. Your mother and I have been a little worried about what is going on. Why are you worried, Daddy? Is something wrong? Haley asked quickly. We were just wondering. Why are you so worried about winning the competition? Did someone say something to you? Your friends, maybe? Mr. Edwards questioned his daughter. Well, it's just this other girl in my kindergarten who is also in the competition and she says she is the only one who will win Haley said hesitantly you know only the gymnastics competition will decide who wins nobody can be sure before Haley's father assured her I know daddy but she is just so mean about it she says I don't even know how to perform properly, and there is no way that I can ever win, Haley said in a small voice. Haley, you don't have to listen to her. Remember, you are only doing this because you love gymnastics, and we will always be proud of you, no matter what. Mr. Edwards kissed Haley on the head. I want you to go up to her tomorrow and wish the little girl the best of luck. Tell her you hope she wins. But I don't want her to win. She will become even meaner if she does win, Haley complained. No, she won't. She will forget it. After all, you only love to perform gymnastics, right? Mr. Edwards reminded his daughter gently. Haley nodded mightily and said, You are right, Daddy. I only care about gymnastics. The next day, the day of the race, Haley wished the other girl in class good luck. The other little girl was very surprised and didn't say anything. The competition started and Haley's parents and friends cheered her on. The race ended, 
and neither of the little girls came in first. But Haley did come in second, and the other girl third. We are so proud of you, Haley. You did everything beautifully, Haley's mother exclaimed. Go congratulate the other girl too, Haley, and don't be mean, her father reminded her. So Haley shook hands with the other girl and told her she did a great job. She was very nice to the other girl, who seemed shocked that she didn't win. When they got home, Haley hung her medal on the wall and her parents took her picture. She then said, Now I know that competition is only about fun. I loved it. My medal is great, but it was all about having a good time.